So the next step for our blueberry cake is the blueberries. Surprise, surprise. Um, we are using 500 grams of blueberries and um, uh, these are the blueberries. We have, well actually I bought um, a tin that was 900 grams. So I just used a little bit more than half. So we have washed these. We're going to toss them into a bowl. And then, of course, the Germans with their alcohol. It calls for 2 cl of a orange liqueur. So um, I happen to have an orange liqueur and we Germans, we have, we're so handy. So I have a little glass. This is actually a, a Jägermeister shot glass. And the nice thing about German glasses is they usually have a marking of exactly 2 cl for a shot glass. So very easy. I'm just going to put my orange liqueur in here to the mark. All right. And um, guess what? A lot of drone baking includes some alcohol. We're going to pour that orange liqueur over our blueberries. And I'm going to give this up. Oh, there's a little stem in there. I guess that sometimes happens. We're going to give these a good toss and we're going to let these blueberries marinate in the shot of orange liqueur. Ooh, that already smells so good. We're going to set these aside. And now for the really interesting stuff. It calls here to preheat the oven to 220 degrees. That's where our conversion comes in. Now, I always have a pocket calculator in my kitchen for my German recipes. Um, so it was 220. I found a little conversion schedule here that tells me to convert Celsius into Fahrenheit we use the 220, we multiply it by 9, then we divide it by 5, and then we add 32. All right, so 428 Fahrenheit. Um, that's 220 Celsius. So, see how I did that there? Very tricky. So we're going to preheat at 428 and I have an awesome oven that lets me select exactly the degrees that I want. While the oven is preheating, we take that pan that I already told you is a 20 inch pan. And the first thing that we're going to do with that, of course, is grease it. I always use butter. I don't use a cooking spray. I don't think it comes out as well. And then I, again, I use my hand. Just make sure you've washed your hands good before you do this kind of stuff. And I make sure I grease it really, really well. Especially the bottom, but also the sides. Because the better you grease it, the easier this will come out of the spring pan after it's done baking. Alrighty. There you go. So I won't show you this every single time that we do a new recipe, but you get the idea. You use real butter. You make sure that everything is coated really well. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to use some paper towels and we have to clean this up a little bit. Uh, the butter can go back in the fridge now. And what will come out now is our dough that's rested in the fridge for an hour. So let's make sure. 
we have a clean working surface. And then, there you go. This can go as well. And um, we'll have to grease, I mean, flour our working surface. And actually, I'm going to dry this off so the flour won't stick. There you go. And we'll use some flour. We'll sprinkle some flour here. Alrighty. I have my rolling pin. I'm going to flour my rolling pin as well. And we're going to take the dough from the fridge. Oh boy, this crumbles really bad. So I think I'm going to have to cheat a little bit. I'm going to just take this apart here because this does not want to roll really good. I can already tell. So I think what we'll do then, we'll just put that directly, oh my goodness, directly on here. And I'm just sort of gonna press it in. This will still come out. I've never had it crumble this much. I'm concerned now, but hopefully it'll all go. And we'll just roll it out in here. Because for this crust, you don't need to have any sides. The sides will just be the whipped cream later. So we can just roll it out to fit the bottom of the spring pan. And we'll do as good a job as we can when the rolling pin starts to stick. There you go. Make sure we roll it out to those corners here. Okay, gosh, I hope this will turn out. I've never had this much of a problem before. So use white flour is all I can tell you. Um, don't do what I did. Again, you live and you learn. It's just like life, you know? Um, life will throw you some curveballs. You just have to deal with it and you move on. You know, if you're a little bit creative, you can always find some sort of a solution. And there we go. We have our crust, we have some crumbles left over. Mmm, yum yum. Mmm, so good. All right. Put it in here, does it snap in right? Snapping all the way good. Almost. Alrighty, that should be in. And I have a little bit of dough left, despite the fact that it's crumbling like crazy. Mmm. It tastes so good. All right, I can only hope this works out because the next thing we'll do is we'll put this in the oven. It's almost heated. We're not quite there yet. I like to put in the, on the oven light so I know what's going on. And then this will go in the oven on the middle rack and it's been baked for only 15 minutes. 
So when I see you again, then hopefully the crust will come out and uh, then we can deal with the cream. Until then.